Hello people, welcome to my channel. My name is Maris and today I will show you how to retrieve a film leader from a 35mm film cassette without using any proprietary tools for it. I mean, you can buy such a thing, you can buy a special film leader retriever uh, I don't know exactly how much it costs, probably like 15 euros, 15 bucks, something like that. And if your local photography store, you know, sells such a thing, you know, of course, support them, buy it if you want. Uh, over here where I live, I actually have never seen it on sale. And uh, yeah, you can order it online, but actually you can do without really well. It's not necessary at all. So, uh, why would you need, why would you want to retrieve a film leader? Well, many things can happen. One thing is that uh, the camera that you own, if, it's, uh, if it has a motorized film camera, uh, when it uh, automatically spools back the film, uh, it might spool it back all the way into the camera. You know, some cameras have the option to leave the film leader out, some don't. So it will spool it all into the cassette, and then yeah, what will you do? You have to you have to open the cassette, which is of course not a problem if you don't want to use the cassette again. But you know, some of you might want to uh, bulk load film. In that case, it's quite handy to to leave the cassette in one piece, and uh, you can you can re you can reuse it. You can use it again. You don't have to buy the special empty cassettes. Uh, if you have a manual wind camera of course you might wind it back all the way yourself you know you, you can basically listen to it you, you can hear when the film is released by the other spool by the take-up spool and you can stop but you know many people don't so you, you roll it all back yourself or what might happen also that is something I will demonstrate to you uh, I will demonstrate it on a brand new film that you buy a brand new film, you fiddle around with it and then uh, oops, by mistake let's see what I will do right now roll a Super Pan 200, very nice film by the way lovely film what can happen here it is, here is your brand new film and Oh, play around, whatever. Maybe, maybe your automatic camera does it. And like, oops, what now? What will you do now? Well, I show you what you can do. All you need is this, uh, you know, piece of old film. So cut it nicely, a little bit round, maybe you know the corners. Cut it like this. And uh, so you need this piece and you need double-sided tape what I have right here I guess I've had this roll of double-sided tape for like 15 years so cut a piece of this double-sided tape uh, glue it if you hold the film like this in front of you glue it on the upper portion like here remove the paper packing and basically now you have a tool to extract the film leader from the cassette so simply wiggle it into the cassette you know, it might go a bit difficult you know it is it is sticky after all from on one side so you just wiggle it into the cassette until it catches on the film you can just push it a little bit more, a little bit more and then when you roll the film at some point it will catch on the film oh I can feel like tension let's try yes it catches on the film and now you know it might it might not work on the first attempt okay like now it didn't so let's try again, push it back in, roll the film, until it catches, a bit 
catch on the film, so hopefully now it will work. And here it is. Here is your film leader. That's how simple it is. No need for specialized tools. Film is ready to be rolled into the camera. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.